<coughs> like to uh, first start off with uh, um, my hats off to Toledo. They made one more play than we did. Um, I thought uh, our kids played their tails off. Um, I thought we coached as good as we can possibly coach. And uh, the fact of the matter is, is uh, we just didn't make one or two plays in the second half. We uh, had an opportunity with OJ in the corner. We were just inches off there. Um, had a bust on defense at the end. Uh, those things happen. Unfortunately, it just happened at the wrong time. Um, but uh, we all didn't want that result. Um, but our kids played our ta their tails off and uh, we coached hard. We just got to finish a way or find a way to finish. And we didn't finish, plain and simple. But um, proud of these guys, proud of our program, proud of our staff. But um, we need to find a way to make one more play. Plain and simple. So, um, with that being said, you guys could ask these guys questions. Connor, Toledo's defensive line looked like they applied a lot more pressure the second half than the first half. Would you say that was maybe the difference, you know, offensively between first and second half? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Uh, obviously, second half I was got banged up and I uh, was taking some hits. Um, I think I think they. Kind of halftime saw they were down 28 to 10, and they're like, oh, crap, we got to go. So um, hats off to them. They they turned it on in the second half, and um, they, were, they were tough to block. So, um, yeah. Offensively, the first half, to get off to a start like that, you know, four touchdowns and five possessions, just, just – just, I mean, how much momentum, just, and obviously from a great first half, just yep. how were you guys able to execute that well? Uh, I think it was just a team effort. It, it shows um, how explosive and how dominant we can be. Um, you know, you saw it against Georgia Tech. We can beat we can beat anyone in the country, really, and um, our our guys know that. Our team knows that. Um, we've we've we did it all fall camp back in August. Uh, we've done it a couple games this year, and um, it, it, it stinks that we couldn't put it together for four quarters. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. So it stinks, but. Cash, yeah, you guys were able to get a lot of pressure on Dave Hahn, you know, three sacks, you had a couple of them. Just how are you guys able to do that and limit his mobility? Because he obviously is effective with his legs, he wasn't effective tonight. Yeah, obviously, you know, we coming into the game, we knew that, you know, he, like you said, he was effective on his feet. So uh, we obviously wanted to come into the game with a chip on our shoulder, you know, trying to get after him and make sure that we can contain him as much as possible. So, yeah. Any more questions for Sir Matthews? Anyone else? All right. Thanks, Cassius. Thanks, Connor. Scott, I guess just what you feel was the difference offensively from the from the first half and the second half. Obviously, yeah, we um, got into the red zone and turned the ball over. Um, probably uh, that was a big momentum change right there, and uh, they played well in the in the second half. We uh, just missed a few opportunities and a few plays that. Uh, uh, to give ourselves a chance to get another score. And uh, we just didn't make enough plays in the, in the second half, plain and simple. Um, we, uh, the turnover, you know, was a, was a big momentum swing in my opinion. Um, but Cam's a guy that uh, we rely on and it was a great hit from behind. And uh, unfortunately some things like that happen Coach, can you give us an idea of what the coverage is supposed to be on that touchdown? That has touchdown? Yeah, we uh, there was a, there was a mistake, and that's all I'm going to get into. I'm, I refuse to uh, point blame on anyone or anything, but there was just a there was a mistake twice that occurred on two of their big plays, and um, it's unfortunate.
Scott, in that second half, it was hard to get the ball to Errol that for the first half that he put together. Why do you think that was the case? Well, what they did is they took uh, their number one corner. We had matchups uh, on them in the second half, and then they put the best corner on on Harold. And uh, we uh, we had a miscommunication. We had a, a home run on a on a man answer, and we adjusted it like it was zone, which would have gave Harold an, another huge touch. But um, unfortunately, uh, just like I said, they made one more play than us, and. Uh, it's hard to look at these stats, you know, whenever you dominated the time of possession, third down, you're great in the red. We just uh, didn't make enough plays at the end. Plain and simple, they made one more one more than us. On your second to last possession, the one right before mm -hmm. the scored the touchdown, what, was there debate on just running three times and bleeding the clock down some more and, and not running two passes? No, we 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 had we knew that we were we had to go down there and try to score, and uh, um, that wasn't our thought process whatsoever. We were trying to go win the game, and uh, um, coulda, woulda, shoulda. There's no question about that. But uh, we felt offensively that this was going to be a, a shootout, and uh, we were trying to score. We were trying to get down there and score one more time. First few plays of the third quarter, um, obviously the penalty on fourth and one, a short punt, um, the, the short play. Just things that kind of start your way on that drive. Just kind of how tough was that with, when you guys had all the momentum? And yeah, uh, just like I said, uh, we sputtered in the uh, in the second half a few times. Um, missed a couple plays. A couple plays we probably would love to have back, calling wise. Uh, yeah, so it was. Um, it was disappointing, no question about it, but um, we gave ourselves a chance and just didn't finish.